self-care has always been very important to me. I, I coach as well, so I'm always talking to my athletes about proper nutrition, eating right, getting enough rest and sleep, recovering, um, doing those things that make you happy. Um, you have to be passionate about what you do. Um, you have to have a good work-life balance in, in order for me to be able to do that and, and give to others the way I do. I definitely have to take care of myself, whether that's go have a spa day every once in a while. I like to get my nails done. That's one of those things that helps me relax. I like to work out. So you gotta do things that uh, help promote self-care so that we can give to others, especially being educators. Um, we are constantly pouring into other people, so you have to pour into yourself um, before you have enough to, to give to anybody else. Understanding that you know, if I don't take care of myself, then that's gonna affect my job and my relationship with coworkers and my learners. So really understanding and planning throughout the day. I'm gonna work until this hour. I'm gonna go home, work out. Uh, you know, making sure I'm really taking care of myself, like treating myself. Uh, understand what my needs are so that I can be the best person I can be for my learners and for my coworkers as well. I started my day off with bullet journaling, planning, and it was a great time, about an hour, uh, for us to get out our planners and kind of get organized. And um, we got to use fun stickers and fun markers and the opportunity to actually just take an hour and think about the weeks ahead was really nice. Um, then I went to drop everything and read and I got to read a book in a quiet, comfortable place for an hour. So today, um, I thought about all the classes and I felt that being here today was important to me because a lot of times you really don't have the time to introspect or understand your own emotions or to know your own personality type and I had a chance to sit and focus and just understand a little bit about me or a little more about me and I met a lot of like-minded people and sometimes uh, you know you're quick to judge how other people could be just from the outside because of uh, perhaps the hierarchy in where they are but you understand you also realize that we're more alike than different and that really helped me with uh, being in this particular class. I think the thing that I've enjoyed the most about today is just the ability to stop and kind of clear my mind and be able to focus on some things that are typically considered out of school activities that really contribute to our well-being. Uh, today was a great day just to kind of chill, um, get caught up on things, feel like I got to take a deep breath and honestly focus on me and when I get the chance to do that, I'm better for everybody. I'm better for my students, I'm better for my coworkers, I'm better for myself. Recently uh, in our human body unit we did do a mental health day in our science class and we got so much good feedback. So if we're doing this as teachers, I hope that maybe we can find some time uh, to do this for our kids, to let them read, to let them organize, to let them try new things. Um, and so I think, I think a lot of teachers will probably take that with them today. It's kind of a funny story. I took a crocheting class. I've never done crochet and I kind of just assumed I would be good at it. Um, but after an hour into the session, I was like, you know what, this is challenging. This this puts me in a perspective, like I, I understand how some of those kiddos feel, our learners, when they're struggling with something. I was like, I am that learner right now. Um, and it really gave me a new perspective that, you know, I've tried something new. It wasn't successful the very first time. And it really showed me, just like I preach to our learners, it takes practice. And it's okay if you don't succeed, it gives you another opportunity to try again. So um, I have a great appreciation for any that, anyone that crochets now. Um, but that was just like a simple life lesson that I learned today um, that I'm taking away. Kind of surprised on uh, some of the teachers that work on my campus, things that they found interesting, things that helped them actually relax or um, were kind of eye-opening and a little different. So you learn a lot about um, your colleagues and we learn a lot about ourselves. Um, I tried a couple of different things that I wouldn't ordinarily do, like crocheting, and um, I learned a lot about myself in that crocheting class. And, um, stepping outside of my box a little bit today and I know a lot of my other um, colleagues and friends have done the same. At the end of the day, even though if it's hectic, you know, checking in with friends um, outside of work or just checking in with a classroom teacher, just asking them how their day was, is there anything I can do to help, how can I support you, um, just 
you know, sometimes people might be afraid to ask for help. So just knowing that it's okay to check in with someone and see how they're doing. Always speaking to my students about what makes you passionate. Because if you, if you know that, if you know that at your core, you can always interweave that. No matter how foreign it may seem, you can interweave that in your math class, in your social studies class. You can find a way, because if you know how your body ticks, um, if you know what makes you happy, um, you can use that to weave it into what drives you. It also allows you during their brain breaks to say, hey, remember at the beginning of the year we gave you, we had you journal about what you were passionate about or you shared what you're passionate about? I'm gonna let y'all do that, you know? Or let us have some free play time, you know? There's nothing wrong with um, interweaving that passion, those passion pieces inside of your, your learning environment. Um, there's nothing wrong with taking that 30 minute break or something like that in a classroom environment where kids can explore those other sides of themselves. It doesn't always have to be academic.